Drugstore of Dr. Fred, Fred Every. Good morning. Good morning. What can I do for you? I was just browsing. No problem. Uh, but please don't touch anything without my permission. I've arranged everything so that it will make my work easier. What work? I'm developing a recipe that will make me rich. I just have to find the final ingredients. Can I have some candies? Unfortunately, I have to say no. The ones you see in the shop are needed to complete the recipe I'm working on, as well as for my livelihood. I noticed. If you have some pocket change, there's a candy vending machine right outside the shop. You can take as much as you want. It's only five cents for a candy. Thanks a lot. What are you working on exactly? It's a recipe of my own concoction for a new non-alcoholic drink. As soon as I find all the ingredients, I'll patent it. I've written everything I need on this piece of paper I found in the back room. There's still some ingredients missing to complete the recipe. Then I'm sure my life will take a turn, and I could say goodbye to Bone Town. Can I help you somehow? Hmm, let me think. Uh, well, maybe there's something you could do. I need to go to the warehouse to get some things I couldn't find anywhere else in town. But I need a specific plant that grows here in these surroundings. It's a plant with white flowers that only grows in places exposed to the sun, but also with enough moisture. No problem. I'll see if I can pick one up and bring it to you. No, 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 no. It's, it's extremely delicate. Any contact with the acids in human skin could ruin its essence. You should use specific instruments to pick it up and carry it. If you're willing to give me a hand, I can provide you with all you need. What would I get in return? Fortune and glory, kid. Fortune and glory. Tremendously epic. All right. Very well. Help yourself to the container in the trowel near the door. Once you've identified the plant, use the trowel to put it in the container. I figured as much. Thanks. It will also take me a while to find what I need in the warehouse. Uh, we'll meet back here. All right. What's that piece of paper? I honestly don't know. I was going through the back room when the new recipe suddenly hit me. I grabbed the first piece of paper I came across to write down the ingredients. Can I see it? I'd rather you not. Our sector is very competitive. If I let you read the ingredients, you could steal my recipe. I can give it to you after the recipe is completed, when I'll be sure nobody will copy my work. Okay. Goodbye. See you soon. When you find the plant with the white flowers, make sure to be as gentle as you can. I'll do my best. I better be going now. The owner was clearly in a great hurry to leave. Hi. Hello. Welcome to the fabulous Bone Town New Pub. Is this supposed to be a pub? It is. It's a full-fledged pub. You have the opportunity to select different drinks of your choice, and it's all automated. At first sight, it looks more like a garage with vending machines. Details. This is the future. People don't want to waste time with chatter. They want to get straight to the point. And I offer what they want. A valid alternative to the old and worn down Bone Town premises. Maybe you should have invested a bit more in the interior design, like moving some tires or getting rid of the tools. I appeal to a different clientele. A bit in the style of Dine and Dash, but more like Drink and Dash. Well, if that is your philosophy, I'd say you've done a great job. I know. Thank you. How is business going in Bone Town? I only opened this business recently, but I'm very confident. The market research I did before opening in Bone Town is very accurate. 
So it's just a matter of time, and then I'm sure I'll find great satisfaction. What kind of market research? I was passing by Bonetown when I had a car problem. I asked for help from the town mechanic. After the hike to check out my stalled car, he asked me if by any chance I had something to drink. And so the light bulb went on in my head. Ding! If people here need takeaway drinks, I'll be here to serve them. So you just relied on the opinion of a single person who happened to be thirsty. Exactly! I know how to read the needs of a village. It's from little things that big projects grow. I have some serious doubts, but I wish you luck. Thanks, but luck doesn't have anything to do with it. Intuition and precise calculations are the foundations of every solid venture. That's right, I agree. Who's the town mechanic? He's a very skilled local handyman. They still call him the blacksmith here. He can fix practically anything. At first I had some problems with the vending machines, and he took care of making them go again. Now he's tinkering with my car. Now that I've moved here, I don't need it anymore. Since I have no urgency to get it fixed, I told the blacksmith he could work on it during the slow times. Since then, I haven't seen him around anymore. I understand. Goodbye. See you soon. They're automatic vending machines. It's a 3D printer. It's weird seeing something so technologically advanced here in Bone Town. It doesn't work like that. It's the same printer we use at school. Here on the side is a multi-format reader. It can read USB sticks, CDs, etc. And it's also a scanner to read data directly from images. Once all the info has been inserted into the reader, it'll be converted into data, which will be passed on to the printer. Only then will it be ready to begin operating. It doesn't seem to be in good condition. I can't believe it. Somebody brought the engine of an F-18 to get fixed. This blacksmith must be very good. Let's see if there's anyone here. It really looks like it, but I don't think it could be that very hammer. I don't know how, but it could be useful. Better take them with me. You never know. They could always come in handy. This armory is very well stocked. There are some truly unique pieces. The engraving says J. Roger. Let's try to see if there's something that might be useful to my research. Oops, I better put everything back as it was. Sorry, my mistake. Careful, boy. I don't like to repeat myself, so I'll tell you only once. It's not wise taking something without permission in a shop that sells weapons. Thanks for the advice. This alarm is a problem. I have to find a way to avoid activating it. Sorry, can I take these scissors? It seems to me it's the only thing suitable for you in this shop. Round edges for greater security. Go ahead and take them. And don't forget to advertise Roger's Weapon Shop. Um, thank you. Good morning. Good morning to you, young man. Are you interested in something? I need weapons. Many weapons. No problem. Here you can find as many as you want. 
And if you don't see something around, I can order it for you. But I need your ID and your carry permit. I'll be back with the documents. Many documents. I'm sure of it. Excuse me. Uh, all these weapons are messing with my mind. How long has this shop been running? Basically ever since Bone Town existed. In every town there's a shop selling weapons. And Rogers is the ultimate shop in the city. We have weapons from all countries and all ages. Our centerpiece is that gun on display over there. It dates all the way back to the early 1700s. My grandpa found it hidden in his attic. It's in a perfect state of preservation. I'd only like to take a look, thanks. I couldn't help but notice the gun on display. You have a good eye, kid. It's the finest piece we have. It's an authentic weapon from the early 1700s. My grandpa found it in the attic, and since then it has always been on display here in our shop. We've done lots of research on it, but we were never able to establish provenance. We know that it dates back centuries, and it's a unique piece. It is unmatched in handling and finish. How it ended up in my grandpa's attic is currently a mystery. There's an inscription, J. Roger. We think it belonged to one of our forefathers. And in our family tree, there's nobody whose name started with a J. The first Roger to arrive here in Bone Town was Johan. But he was an Icelandic fisherman. How much are you selling it for? It's the only piece in the entire collection not for sale. Why's that? It's needed to give our shop a certain prestige. Without this, we would just be another common emporium selling weapons. Instead, Many people pass through here because they know this relic is here. If I sold it, many customers wouldn't return. I understand. There must be something for which you would be willing to part with that gun. Absolutely not. There is no other weapon identical to this. You could try to find another identical one, but according to the research we did, it's a unique piece. And even if I found another one of the same value, I could never trade it. As I already told you, our patronage is based, at the end of the day, on this heirloom. That's why we installed a very sophisticated alarm system that goes off as soon as the weapon is removed. How does your alarm system work? It detects the presence, weight, and dimensions of the object. As soon as this is removed, it immediately goes off. The only chance to steal it would be to substitute the gun with another identical one. But being one of a kind, it's absolutely impossible. I'd say it's a foolproof system. Understood. Goodbye. Goodbye. Dude, peace be with you. May I help you somehow? I like the selection of instruments in this shop. Thanks, dude. It took years to stock up so much choice to test every single instrument to make it harmoniously perfect. As in an orchestra where everything must be perfect? No, dude. No. I I'm talking about harmony with a capital H. Each instrument has a sound that connects your inner self with the motion of the universe, making you a part of the whole. And did you find the formula for this harmony? Dude, for more than 50 years, I've experienced things that link me with the harmony of the universe, but the path is still long, and there's still a lot to try. <laughs> That's not hard to believe. I'd be curious to know what kind of experiments you conducted. Better not ask certain things, dude. In this case, I agree. Is smoking allowed in this shop? Dude, who do you take me for? I could never go against the law and cause harm. <laughs> it looks like you're smoking. No, dude, this is the new frontier. Electronic cigarettes. I see. Aromatized flavor? Uh, yeah, you could say that. An aroma that expands your mind to connect you with the whole. I'm content. I don't want to investigate further. Goodbye. Goodbye. I wish you peace and love.
I don't know what to do with it. I can only play the cello. I have to thank mom for the music classes. A tuning fork can always come in handy. Excuse me, can I take that tuning fork? Sure. It's available to customers to find harmony. Thanks. Hey, there are other musical instruments here too, but these seem to be more ancient. Hmm, it looks like a mechanical piano. I can't play it. To make it work, a musical role would be necessary. I never saw one so old though. There's an engraving, Walter Fly, 1712. Usually there's a metallic stick to make it play, but I can't see that here. I need something else to make it vibrate. To play it, I first need to find the hair and repair the bow. I can't play this way. It's a bow, but it's so old that the hair is worn out. I'll take it with me. If I can find a way to replace the hair, I can use the cello. Let's try and hope it still works. There's a super promotion. With a single shot, you'll see yourself in your current form, in the guise of a pirate, and, brand new option, in the guise of a drunk pirate. All offered by the Lafitte Amusement Park. The things you do to attract customers. Woo! I'd better go out and recover the posters. I'm curious to admire the different versions of myself. Great, three posters of me. It could be a good idea. Now I have a nice pair of cardboard eyes. It could be a good idea. Now it seems that the wanted man is Tom Rayleigh. The resemblance to me is remarkable. My arms are not long enough. It looks like a chimney, but strangely, it seems to be covered by a huge number of engravings. Maybe now they will come in handy. Got it. It's not a chimney. It looks more like a roll with a series of engravings on it. I don't think I still need these bulky tongs. It's the poster used to sponsor the carousel next door. Come to measure your strength. Make the bell ring. Only Rock Lafitte, the strongest man in the world, has done it. Rock Lafitte? Hmm. It seems to me that he was on the list my father left me. I gather he was the onboard carpenter. Once in Bone Town, he was the only one who had the technical knowledge to build an amusement park from scratch. Life aboard the ship must have trained him a lot. I can believe he was the only one to make the bell ring. You surely need a considerable amount of strength. Let's try this one. No way, the weight doesn't move an inch. There must be another way to make the bell ring.
Such a nice little animal. Actually, scratch that. I'd rather leave it in peace. It looks pretty aggressive to me. Keep out. Threatening, but not excessively. Better not remove any pieces. I'd risk compromising its safety. The planks still look in good shape. I'd say all these signs create only unjustified panic. And this comes from someone who rode a bike with no brakes. I think this is the best possible way to use these matches. Once, you used a certain kind of oil to light a fire. From the condition of the lighthouse, I'd say it's very likely there's still some left. I'm not risking burning anything, and I'm isolated from other houses. Great, but it's better to close the opening, or I'll risk that flame burning out. Good job! A few pumice stone pebbles could come in handy. They're light, but resistant. I hope they grew spontaneously. I hope it's just an exposition coffin that ended up here by mistake. I don't want to open a coffin. Somebody transformed this crypt into some sort of house. It probably became a shelter for someone. It doesn't seem healthy to touch these things. Thank you. 